attempt attack that led to the death of a beloved voice coach has now been indicted. We say Lauren Pacienza pushed 87-year-old Barbara Guster to the ground in Chelsea in March. She hit her head. She died a few days later. Pacienza faces one count of first-degree manslaughter, two counts of second-degree assault, and she's due back in court next month. It's 4 or 5 now. We want to go to a news floor exclusive. Once the former president of Honduras arrives at an airport in northern New York City overnight, he faces drug charges. He's accused of being a major drug trafficker. Gabby Acevedo is live in the world and had a story or the video you see from the news floor. Gabby, uh, shocking to see this. This is a former head of state. And it gives us a flashback, Michael, of Manuel Noriega in the late 80s and early 90s, a former president of Panama. But in this case, Juan Orlando Hernandez, a former president of Honduras, arrived in an extradition flight at an airport, as you mentioned, north of the city, just after midnight. He stands accused of being a major drug trafficker. Prosecutors say Hernandez turned Honduras into a violent narco state. And as you mentioned, Michael, today New York has exclusive video of his arrival in the country. The former president of Honduras now faces federal charges, which include participating in a corrupt and violent drug trafficking conspiracy to facilitate the importation of tons of cocaine into the country from 2014 to this year. Hernandez was escorted in handcuffs and under heavy guard by DEA agents. He was led into a waiting issue. You'll be ready to drive him away to the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn as he waits to face a federal judge on this drug trafficking charges here in the Southern District of New York. According to the DEA investigation, the former leader was working with drug cartels to ship tons of cocaine into the U.S., taking millions of dollars in payoffs. And in exchange, Michael, he instructed his military to provide weapons and safe corridors to cartel members. Prosecutors also say Hernandez used bloody tactics and bribery supported by, kingpin, by kingpins like El Chapo Guzman to win the presidency of Honduras back in 2014. The head of the DEA had this to say. If you turn the power of the state into a violent drug trafficking machine, if you allow violence and murder to flourish at the hands of the cartels, then the DEA will stop at nothing to hold you accountable for your crimes. And in a previous video statement, Hernandez said he was innocent, that he was being set up by drug lords. Prosecutors, however, say they have him on tape boasting about how he enjoys stuffing drugs up the nose of Americans. We are told Hernandez court could appear in front of a federal judge as soon as today. Stay with us as we keep you updated on the latest on this case. Reporting live from Lower Manhattan, Gabby Acevedo, today in New York.